Aha, you were caught red-handed and red-bottomed. So your man Rose Burgundy done exposed just hilarious tricks or not. Here's the thing, man. Apparently, there's some software where you can create fake messages from Instagram. Your man Rose Burgundy is saying that your girl Jess Hilarious must have used this software to make him try to, you know, try to make him seem like as if he's a homosexual and that it was all a hoax. Here's what he posted. It says post, create fake Instagram post, create a fake Instagram post and prank your friends by sharing the generated image by our fake Instagram post generator. Upload profile picture, write as many chat messages as you like to the fake Instagram post and astonish your friends. Note. Make the post like you want, then click on save it button to save. He said at Jessalirius underscore official. Found out your little site you've been using at the shade room at the Love and Hip Hop Fights at VH1 Love and Hip Hop T at Ball Alert at Love and Hip Hop T for you. Damn, I never get added. I, anyways, not only does she steal jokes, she uses the Instagram fake message generator app to make up stories at Jess is a mess. Rather, hashtag Jess is a mess. Hashtag just with the mess so there you go y'all looks like your man rose burgundy done found out how they've been doing it so what do you guys think do you think it's proof you rather do you think this is proof that your man rose was basically set up or do you think he's still guilty let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Be sure to hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be similar to be notified new videos get posted for the record. This is why I don't believe every little thing I see on the internet. Because she, hey, she or someone else may have gone to that website and made the fake messages as a prank. There you go. So what do you guys think? Guilty or not?